When I became the head coach at West Point, I was the youngest coach in the country, head coach. I was 24 years old. And I had been in the Army, but I was a PFC, a private first class. That's about as low as you can get and still be in the Army. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm out of the Army. I've fulfilled my two-year commitment, and I'm the head coach at West Point. And I think that being inventive is really important. I, I think, how can I do this a little bit better? Or, you know, this isn't working. What, what have I got to do here? I always thought in those ways. And, and in, in this particular circumstance, I'm now the head coach at West Point in, in basketball. That's about as far down on a ladder as you could be. I mean, the guy that sweeps floors is more important at West Point than the basketball coach is. And so I would, I'd call and, and, and I'd say, uh, uh, this is Coach Knight, the basketball office. I'd like to speak to Major Cardillo. And some sergeant would answer and he'd say, uh, uh, he's busy right now, click. Well, this went on three times when I was trying to reach somebody that was working with me. Well, to begin with, when I was a PFC in the Army, my three assistants that were coaching the freshman team with me, but they were my assistants and I'm a PFC, I had a colonel, a major, and a captain as my assistants, and I'm a PFC. And nothing tickled me more than to say, okay, now I'm going to be gone. I had to scout, all the, do all the scouting for the varsity. I said, I'm going to be gone. Don't you son just fuck up anything while I'm gone. <laughs> Major, a captain, and a, and a colonel, whatever the hell it was. I kind of enjoyed that as a PFC. And so <clears throat> now that I'm the head coach, and, and I think being, uh, to me, one of the most important things in, in any endeavor is being able to adjust and being able to figure out problems. Uh, that's what, what coaching was all about. How are we going to beat this team? Or how can I get more out of this kid? Or whatever. Well, anyhow, back to West Point. I made three phone calls to catch one of the three officers that worked with me now that I'm the head coach. Now I'm out of the Army. I'm the head coach there. And each time, <clears throat> a warrant officer or a sergeant or whatever would answer the phone and say, uh, <clears throat> whatever I ask for, I'd like to speak to Colonel Card, he's busy right now, click. So I had to figure this out. And I was reading a little thing on, on the Army and, and, and the little thing that I read at that point indicated that there were 454 general officers in the United States Army, total, all over the world, 454 general officers. So. I said, okay, what can I do with that? And so the next time I called, some sergeant answered the phone when I said, uh, this is Coach Knight in the basketball office. Could I speak to Major Cardillo? Uh, you know, nothing happened. That's before. But now, this time when I called, I said, uh, sergeant picks up the phone and says, Sergeant Johnson, may I help you? I said, yeah, this is General Webster. I want to speak to Cardillo. Yes, sir, right away, right away, right away. <laughs> and, and he'd come on immediately. Well, they had no idea who the hell General Webster was, but uh, it got pretty well known around West Point. That every, every time I'd go someplace, somebody would say, Coach, have you seen General Webster? <laughs> <laughs> but to me, in, in whatever, Whatever your job is, figuring out things is, 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 I think, more important than accomplishing something. Because when you've figured out something, uh, you've had to earn it. You, you, but, but you've also put your mind to work. And, and uh, it's, it's like this team's zone offense. You know, I, I, had, I put a kid in a ball game one time because he was really a good passer. And, and he couldn't shoot worth a lick, but he could really pass. And, and so I'm gonna substitute Jones for Smith. And so uh, as Jones goes in, you know, I stood up with him before I patted him on the ass and sent him in the game. I said, don't, don't shoot. 
I said, don't even think about taking a shot when you get in there. And I said, because there will be dire circumstances if you even think about shooting the ball. And I can tell when you're thinking about shooting, don't. <laughs> so I, 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 I tr use people uh, for, for not what, for not what um, you want, use them for what they can do. You know, make sure, I, I, I think the head coach always has to make sure that he's using people in the right way.